If you aren't happy with the way you look, it can affect all aspects of your life. But now, thanks to advances in cosmetic procedures, you can diminish the signs of aging and restore your natural appearance. Dr. Beth Collins owns a practice in Guilford and is a double board certified plastic surgeon in general surgery and in plastic and reconstructive surgery. Thank you for being here. You're going to tell us all about surgical versus non-surgical facial rejuvenation. Yes, I am. Um, this is great because you, depending on how much work you might need or how long you want to be out of, you know, out of service, uh, you have lots of options. Right, there are. And, you know, coming, coming up into what we have now, there are a lot of options and it gets confusing for people. So I wanted to just give some idea of what's out there because some people come in to me and they want very minimal downtime. Right. Um, they want to get back to work in a week and not have a lot of swelling and bruising. So in those people, they may fall into a category where just a simple injectable and non-invasive type of procedure goes and there's a lot of really good options out there for them. Pros and cons though with everything I would assume. Exactly. So those things, um, they don't last as long and um, it, although and the effects of them are not quite as profound as if you go into the surgical category. Uh, and then there are people who really aren't candidates for injectables and won't get the result they want. You need to have somebody who's telling you you're, you're not a good it's candidate not gonna work. for this. Yeah, you, you really ought to go into something else and that's where you know, the, where the, the professional comes, comes in, right? Exactly. Um, let's start Start off with facial rejuvenation. Okay. What is this about? This is injectables. Right. Well, no, facial rejuvenation just means making your face look younger. Okay. Whether it be doing it with injectables or doing some sort of surgical procedure, working on the appearance of your skin, all of these things in combination um, go toward the same goal, make you look younger. All right. So, um, yeah, so if somebody came in to me and they said, I want to just, my, I look a little bit tired. People are telling me that, you know, I, I don't look so good. I'm droopy. I'm droopy. <laughs> but I work a lot and I can't take a week off to to recover from surgery, what can I do? I'll look at them and if they're a good candidate for an injectable, um, it will go there. And I think I have some examples of people. Yeah, that, we could put um, up uh, some before and afters here. So this is somebody who just felt like they felt a little bit tired. And what I notice is that the cheek area is getting a little bit flattened and the, the folds by the side of her nose are getting deeper. So she had some injectables and some Botox and a very subtle result where people um, would say, oh, you look, you look great what did, did you did do you something vacation? Did you go on? <laughs> so it's not something that's really profound um, she was back at work in within a week um, the the only major risk of this is just getting a little bit of bruising and um, you know that happens Sometimes. And I want to ask you, were injectables, what are we injecting? How does this work? Um, so, we use their pro all sorts of different products out there. It's probably a big subject to get into, but um, some t collagen type substances. And what they do is they could push uh, fine wrinkles up from below and volumize, like if you have flattening in your cheek area or things like that, or mm -hmm. a deepening of the creases by the side of your nose, it pushes that up and gives you more volume. Got it. All so, right, let's uh, um, con continue have, the before and afters. Yeah, we have so, so many of them. This is another who just had an injectable treatment, just um, was a little bit concerned about looking tired. And she also had a facial at, at uh, my spa. And you could see just a combination of those light uh, interventions, and you get a really profound result. So We're um, talking like eight years off this woman's life, it right, looks like. Yeah, yeah. So not her um, age, not her life. Right. <laughs> So those are some examples of what you could achieve with injectables, and there's a whole lot more on my website. And you know, you come in, and I do a consultation with everybody, and and talk to them about what would be the best approach. Now there are people who are not candidates, really not for, that, candidates right? for it. You know, you could always get a little bit of improvement, but there are some people who I will say you really would be better off if you did something surgical. So I have a couple of examples of people who. Uh, their problem was not necessarily volume, but there was a lot of extra skin. And here this man has quite a bit, as you can see, has quite a bit of extra skin under his eyelids. And he actually had a problem where he was getting dry eyes. So with a lower lid uh, surgery, just removing that extra skin. And there's another view of him from the side where you could wow. see it really takes a lot of years off. So that's a little bit more downtime, um, a week off of work from that, because you do bruise a little bit and the swelling takes a little time to go away. But um, another one uh, example mm -hmm. I have here of a woman who had similar procedure, uh, upper and lower eyelid surgery with a mid facelift, and you could see that that flattened out those creases, got rid of that extra skin, and really took years off her. 
Now, the, the benefit to going through a little bit more surgery in these mm. cases is that this result really resets her back she and starts resets over him. a couple years, right? Exactly. So he's back at 10 years younger, and he will age again, mm -hmm. and you know, you can't stop that progression, but um, it really resets you back to a time I before. I love that. Uh, we have one more set of pictures. I think this is we more do. of a, so, uh, an intense procedure. It was. Now, this person went through basically everything. So she had an upper eyelid, lower eyelid, mid face, and lower face lift with fat injections to her lips with a chemical peel, actually, to improve the skin. Um, and there's her before and after. Now, that was wow. quite a bit of, of surgery to go through, a, a lot more downtime, but you could see really, that's where you see before and afters that people talk about on television where, you know, you get this profound result. And there's she a picture like of her out and about. Woman. Yeah, and that's I always fantastic. joke, she's 150 years old. No, <laughs> she's 63 years old, and you really, you would, you would probably put her in her late 40s or early sure, 50s, absolutely. I think. Yeah, so. Well, it's wonderful that there's so many options here. There and, uh, are. Really, whatever you're looking for. If you want something it is. Uh, minor or obviously a little more invasive. Yeah, just depending on what you're willing to go for. And it just comes, it just takes coming and having a conversation with me. And I'll be very honest and mm -hmm. give all sorts of options with, you know, and we, we always come to a decision together sure. what's right. All right, let's put some information up on the screen. Uh, if you'd like to get a hold of Dr. Collins, she's located in Guilford, 203-689-5295, or check out the website at bethcollinsmd.com. Of course, you can see more pictures there. Dr. Collins, always a pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.